Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to adjust the notification and focus settings on your macOS device. This will allow you to adjust which apps give you notifications at certain periods of the time. It will also allow you to adjust how your focus modes work across all your different Apple devices, including iPhones, iPads, Apple Watches, Macs, and much more. It's a pretty simple process, so let's get straight into it. So to adjust these settings, what you need to do is go into System Preferences uh, on your computer. So we'll go into here or Mac OS Ventura. It may be called System Settings now. And what we'll do is go on the right hand side of the page. It says Notifications and Focus. Now, if you're on Mac OS Ventura, there'll be a column on the uh, left hand side and what you'll need to do is just scroll down until you find notifications and focus It should be laid out fairly similarly to how it is on the iPhone and iPad uh, But yeah for Monterey and older it'll be around here So if you click notifications and focus what you'll see is it opens up a page like this So what you've got here is you've got all your apps sort of down the left side here and You can adjust what each app is allowed to do so for example, the App Store, I've completely turned off notifications for it. So I can turn on notifications. I can choose how the notifications are allowed. Um, so I can choose none. I can choose banners or I can choose uh, alerts. So none just won't show any uh, notifications at all. Banners will show a notification for a few seconds and then it will slide away off the screen as it's showing there. And alerts will slide over and then stay on the screen until they are dismissed uh, by the person. And you also see that adjusting um, notifications on and off. When it's off, I've got no, um, uh, I've got no little uh, number count of notifications. But as soon as I turn it on, you'll see a little eight appears, showing me that I've got eight notifications for the App Store. I can also adjust whether it allows time sensitive alerts um, and these are all on by default. Uh, whether it shows notifications on the lock screen, whether it shows in the notification center, which is um, if you click up where the time is, that's where your notification center is there. And also whether it has the badge app icon. So if I turn that off, it will remove the little number from the app uh, as is seen there. Now you also see um, showing previews, uh, you can show, choose to show them always, uh, even when the computer is locked, uh, only when unlocked, um, so that's what's on by default and that will require you to enter your password to show the previews for the notifications or you can just choose to never show them at all even if your computer is unlocked. Uh, and then you can also decide um, whether it grips notifications automatically by app or whether it's just completely off altogether. And then you'll see down the bottom here that there's a few options that apply to every app uh, universally across the board. So these are the specific app options here, uh, what we were just going through. And then at the bottom, this applies to everything and will override whatever's set per app. So we can see show previews, whether it's always, when unlocked, never. That will adjust it for all apps. And then whether you allow notifications when the display is sleeping, when the screen is locked or when the screen is mirroring or sharing the display. So they're your options across the board. Uh, and you'll see for all of these apps, I have the same options here of what I can choose to do um, for uh, in terms of notifications, whether they're on or off, and then all the specific uh, options as well. They're all the same throughout all these apps. Some apps, however, may have some uh, extra options like time-sensitive alerts. Um, that only applies to some. And then some may have a sound for notifications and things like that. So it's just really up to whatever the app has and what um, the app developer has set for that particular app. All right, so that uh, wraps up the notification section. And then if we move across here, you'll see there's a focus tab up the top. So if we click on focus, you'll see it opens this whole new pane. So um, what we've got here is I haven't set any uh, focus modes up on this user. So this is completely clean here. 
And what we've got is we've got a do not disturb uh, by default here. So we can turn that on or off. You'll see when you turn it on, you get the little moon icon up here to show that the do not disturb focus is on. And I can turn that on or off from here. And what we can do is the first option is allowed notifications from. So this is um, what you allow your notifications from. So you can allow it for certain people and for certain apps. So if we go into the app section and add one here, we can say that when do not disturb is on, we can allow notifications still from, uh, for example, FaceTime. We might turn that on. So if we click it and click add, that will always allow notifications on from FaceTime, even if do not disturb is turned on. So that will just allow you to choose which apps always allow you to send notifications to you during this particular time. And then if you ever want to remove an app from this list, you can just select it and then click the minus button, which will remove it from the allowed notifications list. You've also got this options button here, um, which will decide whether it allows time sensitive notifications. Um, so those notifications are ones that apps notify you of immediately, even when you have focus mode turned on. Then you can allow uh, calls from certain people like everyone, all contacts or just your favorites. And then you can decide whether you allow repeated calls um, from the same person within three minutes uh, and that will decide whether that won't be silenced. So um, there's some of your options there. And then you've also got options here about turn on automatically. So you can decide whether, uh, for example, if you want do not disturb to turn on during your work hours, it's selected here whether you want it on 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day. If we turn that on, it will mean that it always turns on do not disturb between those hours of the day. So um, it will schedule it um, to activate during that time of the day, which is very uh, helpful. And you can also add your own um, based on time. Um, for example, here you can choose your time and what day is that active or whether it's by location um, or whether it is by um, app. So um, if you choose it by an app, if you open a certain app, it will turn on do not disturb. And if you choose it by location, it will do whenever you arrive at a certain location, it will activate do not disturb on your computer. And that applies across all focus modes, depending on whatever you want. So you can add a focus mode here and you can choose many different ones, such as gaming, mindfulness, personal, reading, work. Uh, and then you've also got some custom options. Um, a personal one that I use a lot is the sleep focus mode that activates uh, about half an hour before I go to bed, which helps me to wind down before bed and, uh, yes, yeah, disables notifications and starts slowly blocking um, certain things from being used. Um, so if you added a custom one, um, you can give it a name. Um, so, for example, if I wanted to do a sleep um, one here, I can call it, I can give it a blue color and then uh, I can um, do a certain uh, picture to represent it. So uh, I can't seem to see any beds here. I'll just do this sunset one um, just for the purposes of this video. And if I go add, you'll see it's got all the same options that we just went through before um, and it will allow you to customize that focus mode um, no matter what you do. So that's really handy to be able to do that. And you'll see that that shows in the focus settings on your Mac OS device. And same thing, if I open the control center, you've got your focus mode here. Uh, currently it's on do not disturb. If I turn that off, when you go into the control center, it will say focus. And then you can click into there and choose which focus mode you would like to be turned on. So Lots of good options here in the focus settings um, on your Mac OS device. And yeah, that just about wraps it up for how to adjust the notification and focus settings on your Mac OS device. Hopefully this was helpful in allowing you to adjust your notification settings to best suit your needs and maybe remove distractions from certain times of the day, um, especially using the focus function on your Mac as well, and that will allow it to work across all your Apple devices super seamlessly. So if it's activated on one, it will then activate it on all your other devices as well, which is really handy. So yeah, as I said, hopefully this was helpful and let me know in the comments below 
uh, what your favourite part of this whole feature setup here is because I'd love to hear from you in the comments below and also let me know any video suggestions that you have for me because I'm more than happy to make them if you would like to see them. Thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.